Okay, so we're clear that everybody's got a story to tell. We're clear that we're natural storytellers anyway, but now we want to tell the story. Let's get clear on the purpose. So in this talk, I want to share two key distinctions between telling the story for selfish reasons and telling the story for service reasons. I'll get into that in a bit, and the distinctions are equally valid, so stay tuned for the next talk. Hi guys, Calvin again. So let's get clear on the purpose of the story then. You remember in our, in our previous discussion, talk that I did on three common mistakes of people telling their stories. The purpose of the story is step one, and that is like so important before we even get going, you know? So when you're about to tell your story then, I want you to think about getting clear on the purpose of telling the story, okay? So are you telling your story for selfish reasons? Or are you telling your story for service reasons? Now, selfish reasons, I don't mean that in this context in the traditional judgmental sense in the way we use the word selfish commonly. I mean it in that it is just for you and for you alone. And it is not necessarily to the detriment of others, as in we would use selfish in a traditional, traditional sense, but it's for your own healing journey, right? So it is perfectly valid to tell your story for therapeutic reasons, for making sense of your life, for looking at the chronology of events that have taken place and developing new perspectives as I have spent a lot of time doing with my own story. That is an important part of processing, integration, change and development on our own personal spiritual development journey. So telling your story then for selfish reasons is completely encouraged, I would say even, and I think that is so important for us when we're rewriting our story to be able to do that. But what I am saying is we have to make the distinction between telling it for selfish reason and telling it for service reasons. I'd like to quote Rachel Freed, who works at the University of Minnesota's Center of Spirituality and Healing, who says, telling our stories is not an end in itself, but an attempt to release ourselves from them and to evolve and grow beyond them. So as we've developed our story for ourselves as part of our healing, and we've integrated a lot of the lessons and new perspectives that we've developed from rewriting that story in a lot of cases, we can now think about the service element, telling our stories to the world. So with socially conscious business owners, for example, coaches, therapists, people who are healing, social entrepreneurs, who are adding value to community, they are doing storytelling for service reasons, to connect and resonate with their audiences outwardly. So um, again, I talk about the internal dimension, and the external dimension, the internal story, the external story, stories that we're telling ourselves and stories we're telling others. And this is where it becomes more conscious, why I like to call it mindful storytelling. If you haven't watched my talk on mindful storytelling, click the link associated with this video and you will be able to follow that through. So as we're telling our story for service reasons then, now we're clear at the outset why we're telling our stories. We know that this is about developing connection with the audience, building empathy. And uh, as Professor Robert McKee says, storytelling is the most powerful way to put ideas into the world. We are sharing our ideas with the world. We are delivering impact through the power of the story. And if you recall that the story is a vehicle of the key message, get that essence message right, get that key message re-expressed in such a way that it really reflects your truth in your communication, then putting a beautiful idea into the world that resonates with you and your audience is completely supportive of service-based storytelling. So this is just a quick talk, really, to let us get clear on the purpose, to help us see that at the beginning of any storytelling endeavor, once we're clear on whether that's for us, for a therapeutic purpose, or whether we're 
clear on whether it's for our audience in a service-based engagement. We know why we're telling the story and we know that they're both equally valid and, um, and the impact that we have, the resonance that we have with our audience definitely comes from the service expression, but the clarity that we get and the confidence that we get comes from the stories that we tell ourselves. And if we need to do that for healing purposes and that's selfish reasons, that's completely fine. Thank you so much for watching my video. Why not check out my courses on academy.calvinniles.com, link just below.